Welcome to this tutorial on complex roots of quadratic equations. In this tutorial, we will learn to plot graphs of quadratic functions, calculate real and complex roots of quadratic functions. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with GeoGebra interface, basics of quadratic equations, geometry and graphs, previous tutorials in this series. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit our website. Here I am using Ubuntu Linux operating system version 14.04, GeoGebra 5.0.388.0-D. Quadratic polynomials. Let us find out more about a second degree polynomial y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. The function graphs as a parabola. If the parabola intersects the x-axis, the intercepts are real roots. If the parabola does not intersect x-axis at all, it has no real roots. Roots are complex. Let us look at complex numbers. Complex numbers xy plane. As we know, a complex number is expressed as z equals a plus b i. a is the real part, b i is imaginary part, a and b are constants. i is imaginary number and is equal to square root of minus 1. In the xy plane, a plus b i corresponds to the point a comma b. In the complex plane, x axis is called real axis y-axis is called imaginary axis. Complex numbers, complex plane. In complex plane, z is a vector. Its real axis coordinate is a and imaginary axis coordinate is b. The length of the vector z is equal to the absolute value of z and to r. According to Pythagoras theorem, r is equal to square root of a squared plus b squared. I have already opened GeoGebra interface. Click on slider tool and then in graphics view. Slider dialog box appears. By default, number radio button is selected. In the name field, type A. Set min value as 1 max value as 5 and increment as 1. Click OK button. This creates a number slider named A. Using the slider, A can have values from 1 to 5 in increments of 1. Following the same steps, create sliders B and C. In input bar, Type the following line f x in parenthesis colon equals a space x carrot 2 plus b space x plus c. Press enter. Drag boundary to see algebra view properly. Pay attention to the spaces indicating multiplication. Observe the equation for f of x in algebra view. Set slider a at 1, slider b at minus 2, and slider c at minus 3. The equation f of x equals 1x squared minus 2x minus 3 appears in algebra view. Under move graphics view, click on Zoom out tool. Click in graphics view. Click on move graphics view tool and drag graphics view to see parabola f. Function f is a parabola intersecting x axis at minus 1 comma 0 and 3 comma 0. Thus, roots of fx equals x squared minus 2x minus 3 
are x equals minus 1 and 3. In input bar, type root f in parenthesis and press enter. The roots appear in algebra view. They also appear as x-intercepts of the parabola in graphics view. In input bar, type extremum f in parenthesis and press enter. The minimum vertex appears in algebra and graphics views. After double-clicking on point C in graphics view, select object properties. From color tab, change the color to red. Close the preferences dialog box. Point C, extremum of f of x, is red in algebra and graphics views. Click on Move tool. Set slider A at 1, slider B at 5, slider C at 10. The equation f of x equals 1x squared plus 5x plus 10 appears in algebra view. Click in and drag graphics view to see this parabola. It does not intersect the x-axis. Points a and b are undefined as the function does not intersect the x-axis. Extremum point c is shown in red in algebra and graphics views. Function f of x equals x squared plus 5x plus 10 has no real roots. Let us see the complex roots of this equation. Click on view, then on spreadsheet. This opens a spreadsheet on the right side of the graphics view. Click to close algebra view. Drag the boundary to see spreadsheet view properly. Type the following labels and formulae in the spreadsheet. In cell A1, type within quotes B caret 2 minus 4AC and press enter. Drag column to adjust width. B squared minus 4AC is also called the discriminant. In cells A4 and A5, type root 1 and root 2 and press enter. In cells A9 and A10, type complex root 1 and complex root 2, press enter. Drag column to adjust width. In cell B1, type B caret 2 minus 4 space A space C and press enter. The value minus 15 appears in cell B1 corresponding to B squared minus 4AC for fx. Note discriminant is always negative for quadratic functions without real roots. In cell B3, type within quotes, minus b divided by 2a. Press enter. In cell b4, type minus b divided by 2 space a. Press enter. Note the value minus 2.5 appear in cell b4. In cell b5, type b4 and press enter. The value minus 2.5 appears in cell B5 also. In cell C3, type the following line and press enter. Within quotes, plus minus SQRT D divided by 2A. Press enter. In cell C4, type SQRT B1 in parenthesis divided by 2 space a and press enter. Note that a question mark appears in cell c4. In cell c5 type 
minus C4 and press enter. Again, a question mark appears in cell C5. There are no real solutions to the negative square root of the discriminant. In input bar, type B4 plus C4, comma, 0 in parenthesis and press enter. This should plot the root corresponding to ratio of minus B plus square root of discriminant to 2A. In input bar, type B5 plus C5, comma, 0 in parenthesis and press enter. This should plot the root corresponding to ratio of minus B minus square root of discriminant to 2A. Fx equals x squared plus 5x plus 10 has no real roots. Hence, the points do not appear in graphics view. Click in and drag graphics view to see this properly. In cell B9, type minus B divided by 2 space A and press enter. In cell B10, type B9 and press enter. Discriminant is less than 0 for fx equals x squared plus 5x plus 10. So, the opposite sign will be taken to allow calculation of roots. In cell C9, type sqrt minus b1 in parenthesis divided by 2 space a and press enter. 1.94 appears in C9. In cell C10, type minus C9 and press enter. Minus 1.94 appears in C10. Click in and drag graphics view to see the following complex roots. In input bar, type B9, comma C9 in parenthesis and press enter. This complex root has real axis coordinate minus b divided by 2a. Imaginary axis coordinate is square root of negative discriminant divided by 2a. In input bar, type b10, comma c10 in parenthesis and press enter. This complex root has real axis coordinate minus b divided by 2a, imaginary axis coordinate is minus square root of negative discriminant divided by 2a. Drag boundary to see sliders in graphics view properly. Drag the slider b to minus 2 and slider c to minus 3. Click in and drag graphics view to see the parabola. Note how the parabola changes to the one seen for fx equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. The real roots plotted earlier for fx equals x squared minus 2x minus 3 appear now. Drag boundary to see spreadsheet view. As roots are real, calculations for complex roots become invalid. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to visualize quadratic polynomials, their roots and extrema, use a spreadsheet to calculate roots, real and complex, for quadratic polynomials. As an assignment, drag sliders to graph different quadratic polynomials, calculate roots of the polynomials. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries on this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Vidya Ayer from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.